Hello and welcome to my science tutorials. In today's video, we want to look at a purely capacitive AC circuit. Before we begin, if you are new to my science tutorials, kindly consider subscribing and turning on the notification button so that you do not miss any of our latest tutorials on biology, chemistry, mathematics and physics. So without further ado, let's begin today's tutorial. So when we talk about a purely capacitive AC circuit, that is a purely a purely capacitive AC circuit, we are talking about a circuit that only has a, a capacitor as the main or the major component. So if we draw the circuit diagram for that, we are going to have our capacitor over here. Then we're going to have it connected to an AC source. Okay, so the AC source is going to have a voltage that we are calling a capacitive voltage. And then the current flowing through this circuit is what we are calling the capacitive current. So this is our circuit diagram. Our circuit diagram and this is our capacitor over here so we are going to represent that with C and then we are saying our AC source which provides the voltage is what we are calling the capacitive voltage and then the current flowing through this entire circuit is what we are calling the capacitive current now in a purely capacitive AC circuit the current that we see over here leaves the voltage by 90 degrees what do we mean by this it means if we draw the phasor diagram for this particular circuit we are going to get something that looks like this we're going to have our current over here and then we're going to have our voltage on this axis over here so the angle difference between the capacitive current and then the capacitive voltage is 90 degrees as we can see over here so this is what we mean by in a capacitive AC circuit, the current is leading the voltage by an angle of 90 degrees. Now, if that is the case, there should be a way for us to be able to find the opposition to the flow of current in this particular circuit. Now, in this type of circuit that we are calling the capacitive AC circuit, the opposition to the flow of alternating current is what we call the capacitive reactance which is denoted by Xc. So we call this the capacitive reactance. Capacitive reactance. Now this capacitive reactance Xc is given mathematically as the ratio of capacitive voltage to the capacitive current. Which means that if we try to make voltage the subject over here, voltage, capacitive voltage, we are going to have the product of capacitive current multiplied by Xc, which is the capacitive reactance. Now, this looks like something. This looks like the Ohm's law formula that we use for direct current. That is V is equal to IR. In this case, the voltage is what we are calling the capacitive voltage. The current I over here is what we are calling the capacitive current. And then the resistance. The resistance of the resistor in a direct current is what, in this case, because this is an AC circuit and it only has a capacitor, that is what we are calling the capacitive reactor. So this is just Ohm's law rewritten in an AC format. So this is for AC circuit. And this is for direct current. Okay, now we, we said that the capacitive reactance is given as the ratio of the capacitive voltage to the capacitive current. We also know that in an AC circuit, um, in an AC circuit, we know that the, the current and then the voltage do not go in a straight line, they go in a wave like pattern. So, this formula can also be written. In another way so we have the first one being VC over IC but this can also be written as 1 over 2 pi FC where F is the frequency of the 
of the circuit so we have the frequency this is the frequency in hertz and then we have c is the capacitance of the capacitor the capacitance of the capacitor is measured in farad and sometimes uh, micro farad mostly so this is another way of writing the capacitive reactance of a capacitive ac circuit so this is a very important formula that we're going to be using throughout our calculations involving capacitive ac circuit so you may want to note that somewhere so now that we've gone to the basics of a purely capacitive ac circuit let's have a look at some examples to actually appreciate what we are doing so we have a problem here and the problem is asking us to determine the capacitive reactance of a capacitor of 10 microfarad when connected to a circuit of frequency a 50 hertz and b 20 kilohertz now this is pretty easy pretty straightforward so the first thing you want to do is to write down your solution and then as always i will recommend you write all the parameters that you have and those that you don't have so that you know where to go from all right so i have over here i've been given the capacitance of the capacitor which is c to be 10 microfarad i know micro is times 10 raised to the power negative 6 so this is going to be 10 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 farad that is for my capacitance and then i've been told that it is connected to a 50 hertz um ac circuit so my frequency is 50 hertz the question is saying that i should find the capacitive reactance xc that is what i don't know so for a for a so i have xc is equal to vc over ic but in this case we don't we are not given voltage we've not been given any current so we're not going to use this formula we're going to use the formula 1 over 2 pi fc so this is going to be equal to 1 over 2 pi the frequency we've been given is 50 hertz for the first case which is over here and then we have our capacitor the capacitance of the capacitor having its capacitance to be 10 times 10 raised to the power negative 6 farad now if we compute these into our calculator we are going to get 318.3 ohms as our answer for question number 1a now if we look at b we can see that we've been given the frequency to be 20 kilohertz 20 kilohertz is equal to 20 times 10 raised to the power positive 3 hertz so that is what we are going to use for the calculation and as the same our capacitance is still 10 microfarad and we are still to find the capacitive reactance so this is also pretty easy pretty straightforward we know xc or the capacitive reactance is equal to the ratio of 1 over 2 pi fc so we do the necess necessary substitutions we're going to have 2 pi our frequency in this case is going to be 20 times 10 raised to the power positive 3 then multiplied by our capacitance is 10 times 10 raised to the power negative 6 so we compute this into our calculator and when we do that we are going to get our answer for our capacitive reactance to be 0 0.796 ohms as our capacitive reactance so this is how we go around solving a problem that involves a, a purely capacitor or a problem on a purely capacitive ac circuit so let's have a look at another example problem number two we have a capacitor have a reactance of 40 ohms when operated on a 50 head supply we are to determine the value of its capacitance all right so let's write down our solution let's try to understand the question so the question is saying a capacitor has a reactance of 40 ohms it means that the capacitive reactance 
of this particular circuit is 40 ohm so we've been given xc straight ahead from the beginning of the question so 40 ohms and we've been told that this circuit has been operated on a 50 hertz uh, frequency supply so we have 50 hertz as our frequency we are to determine the value of c which is our capacitance that is what we do not know but we know that xc which is our capacitive reactance is equal to the ratio of 1 over 2 pi f c now if we cross multiply to make c the subject we're going to have this divided by one so if we cross multiply we're going to have one multiplied by one will give us one to be equal to xc multiplied by all of this will give us two pi f c multiplied by x c so to make our capacitor the capacitance the subject we divide both sides by two pi f multiplied by x c to leave this guy alone and then we have two pi f multiplied by x c so if we cancel everything here we're gonna have just the capacitance c to be equal to one over two pi f x c now that we've made the capacitance the subject let's go ahead and do the substitutions and get our value so our c is going to be equal to one over two pi our frequency over here is 50 and then our capacitive reactance is 40 ohms now if we punch these on our calculator it is going to give us 0 0.00007958 okay so this can also be written as 79.58 micro rad so this is going to be the capacitance of the capacitor present in this particular ac circuit now let's have a look at one final example and then we end today's tutorial so the last question or the last problem on this particular tutorial we have to calculate the current taken by a 23 microfarad capacitor when connected to a 240 volt supply and then 50 hertz supply so this is pretty easy pretty straightforward so let's write down our solution so we have to calculate the current so we don't know the current ic we do not know uh we've been given the capacitance of the capacitor so we have c is equal to 23 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 farad and then we've been given voltage to be 240 volts and then we've been given frequency to be 50 hertz supply very good now remember i said at the beginning of this tutorial that capacitive reactance is equal to the ratio of the capacitive voltage to the capacitive current now if we want to find the capacitive current it means ic is going to be equal to vc over xc we just have to interchange the position of xc and then ic over here so this is the formula that we're going to use to find our current but before we do that we have no idea what our capacitive reactance is so we need to find xc first so we know xc is equal to 1 over 2 pi fc so that is going to give us 1 over 2 pi the frequency over here is 50 our c is 23 times 10 raised to the power negative 6 and so our xc capacitive reactance is going to give us if we compute everything over here into our calculator we are going to get 138.40 ohms as our capacitive reactance now that we have this we can do the substitution into this formula to get our current so our current is going to be ic is equal to our voltage we know is 240 volts over here on our capacitive reactance which we just found to be 138.40 now if we compute this into the calculator we are going to get 
three four okay which you can just do to two decimal places to be 1.73 amperes as our current so this is how we solve some basic problems involving a purely capacitive ac circuit so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye